Well, hi everybody, it's John Elzinga, and welcome to It's a Great Day to Serve the Lord. So, uh, we're going to start with Psalm 118, verse 24. You know it very well, but it is the reason for the title of this meditation, this series. And, um, it, it goes like this. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. How great is that, huh? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hey, can you imagine that? This is the day the Lord has made for you, for me, for all of us. Every day that we wake up, every day that we get up, it is a day crafted by God for us. It is a special day. It is a one-of-a-kind day. A lot of people say, well, I, <laughs> it's, a, you know, Groundhog Day every day. You go through the same thing every day. Doesn't matter. It's a great day to serve the Lord. And this is the reason for the title for this series. Um, quite a few years ago, um, when I was uh, still an old man, I'm a very old man now, but I was still an old man, um, I went to work for a company called Pizza Ranch in the Midwest. Many of you are watching this have heard it, are working there maybe even. Um, and uh, I went there to teach leadership, culture building, customer service, and a few other things. And um, the first week, or the first, uh, rather the first, pretty much the better part of the first year that I was there, I needed to work in the restaurant um, and, uh, and then eventually uh, train managers how to work in the restaurant, but I needed to know what managers go through in the restaurant on a daily basis. Uh, in order to teach them about leadership, I needed to know what their world was like. And so uh, in walks this old guy. Now, uh, I was uh, about ready to rub shoulders with um, teenagers, uh, you know, high school students, college students, 20-somethings of the world, probably about uh, maybe a little bit more than 50% of the restaurant population um, is made up of that age group. And I walk in <laughs> with all these young people, and I'm thinking to myself, what, what, you know, what am I going to do to make an impact on these people? I mean, they're going to ignore me. They're not even going to listen to me. I mean, we don't even speak the same language. <laughs> How am I going to make a difference in their life? I'm sure they see me as this old guy. He's irrelevant. Uh, he doesn't have any significance in my life and, uh, and so on. So I thought about it for a while, prayed about it for a while. And, and I decided that, you know, I noticed, you know, and you all have this in your life. Um, when you go into your job each day, when you go into your job each shift, um, and you see your fellow crew members, uh, the first thing you do is, hey, how's it going? How you doing? How's it, how's it going? And uh, we answer in an obligatory way, fine, good, great, all right, whatever. You know, these are really non-answers. They're just small formalities we go through um, to just acknowledge that they're there. And, uh, and that was the case there. And so uh, I decided what I was going to do when somebody asked me, um, you know, when they come in, hey, how's it going? Here's what I'm going to say. It's a great day to serve the Lord. That was going to be my reply. And I'm sure when I first started answering that, I'm sure they're like, what? Okay. I mean, I, I'm sure they had different responses internally as they heard me say that. Uh, I'm, I'm like, w w what is he thinking? Yeah, you know, all I asked him is, hey, how's it going? <laughs> and, uh, and, and so uh, I did that, and uh, it got to be, for whatever reason, I started saying that phrase at random throughout the day, maybe 10, 12, 15 times a day during a shift. Hey, it's a great day to serve the Lord. Hey, do you know it's a great day to serve the Lord? It's a great day to serve the Lord. <laughs> And uh, there are two things I wanted to communicate in that simple sentence, that simple phrase. The first thing I wanted to communicate, if someone were to ask, is, um, you know, I don't, I don't care what you're doing today. 
uh, in this case, in the restaurant, in a pizza restaurant uh, that has chicken, um, you could be thinking, uh, I, I could be, I wanted to communicate, um, hey, you know, I don't care what you're doing, whether you're making pizza, making chicken, whether you're setting up the salad bar out front, whether you're interacting with guests, whether you're in the dish room, whatever you're doing, you can serve God by doing that very thing. It glorifies him, especially when we approach it with that attitude. This is for him. And uh, the second thing I wanted to communicate was simply this. You know, we all have stuff in our life, and uh, not every day is the same. Not every moment of every day is the same. And uh, we have issues, we have troubles, we have problems, um, and uh, we have good days and bad days. But what I wanted to communicate was simply this, that I could be having a bad day, but even on a bad day, it's a great day. To serve the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. That's what I recognized. This day, designed, crafted, gifted to us by God, is a gift. It is just that. I mean, we talk about it a lot in passing, but we know. Who knows whether we're going to make it tomorrow? Who knows? Yeah, it's one thing for an old guy like me to say that. But we all know in today's world, with uh, the cars and other issues, accidents happen. Tomorrow may not come, but today's here. And I'm rejoicing. I'm glad in that. I'm thankful that God gifted us this day. And I... Look at that day in that manner. And, and, and so I, 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 would, I would say this at random, you know, 10, 12, 15 times a day. Hey, it's a great day to serve the Lord. <laughs> and after a couple of months, I was pretty sure somebody was going to say, Okay, John, all right, I get it. I've heard it before. Enough already. <laughs> but instead, you know what happened? After a couple of months, when I would come in, um, every once in a while, somebody would say, somebody else would say, a young person would say, hey, John, it's a great day to serve the Lord. In fact, at the corporate office, um, it, it just, this phrase just took on a life of its own. And uh, I would say it when I went into the corporate office as well, um, which was where I was stationed and uh, was there every day. And uh, when I went to the corporate office, after a while, it almost became like a competition between myself and the founder of Pizza Ranch, who, when our eyes met, who is going to say it first? It's a great day to save the Lord. serve the Lord. And you know what? When your day starts that way, when your viewpoint starts that way, when you see it from God's Word, and you hear it and let that filter into your mind. Your day, your minutes, your life becomes so much sweeter and so much better. Folks, the reason for the title of this devotion, this is the reason. And I want you to know, today is and every day is a great day to serve the Lord. God bless you.